at Jamie Lee Mann here. I, I suppose you know that if you're here, but anyway, it's worth mentioning. Um, things are going really well. It's been a while since I updated my blog, um, mostly because I've been very busy promoting Elora of Stone, uh, my novel here. You've heard of it if you're on this blog here. Laura of Stone. Uh, it came out in December, uh, so here we are in March, and uh, it's been a very busy couple of months. Um, the book's going over really well, so I'm really happy about that. And in the meantime, uh, the follow-up to this book, Into Carrera, is actually off to the publisher now. It should be uploaded today on NetGalley. Um, which is a place where people, book reviewers and book bloggers and bookstore owners um, can go and upload, I'm feeling very dry lippy, uh, can go and upload, uh, da sorry, download new things to read and review. So Into Career is going to be up there today, uh, which means I guess I'll soon get to do the cover real well for that one, which is pretty exciting. Uh, I've been sitting on that for a while. Uh, so anyway, the reason I'm here today to chat on video is to go over a few of the more difficult to pronounce words and names that are found in this novel. Uh, something that my publisher, um, Heidi, suggested would be a good thing to do. Um, and I agreed with her. It's a great idea. So. First of all, you've probably heard me call this novel Elora of Stone. So Elora's name is Elora. Um, the first name that we encounter that might be a little tricky is our goblin. Uh, his name is Grimblerod. So that's how his name is pronounced. Um, another tricky word in Elora of Stone is Grimoire. Um, and I did not prepare very well at all. So I think it's in chapter, um, I don't know, around page 32 or something, and the word grimoire, G-R-I-M-O-I-R-E, it's a fancy word for a witch's spell book, and I like to use it um, because it fits better in a sentence, like she pulled out her grimoire, then she pulled out her ancient spell book. Um, I'm finding it here. This is to, I wish I could just have like some sort of a, like a some sort of see whenever I get time to sit down and do a video anyway another word uh, while I'm looking for the grimoire maybe I maybe here's what I can do this is such a thorough video I'll put the little word on the screen hmm, maybe I can use some editing skills I'll try to do that um, our other names, Lark is our villain, and Lark is actually pronounced Lark, even though it's L-A-R-Q-U-E, is what it looks like. Um, another word, Lachlan. Lachlan is uh, Ariana and Asher's father, so that might be one that's tricky for some. Um, but other than that, I don't think there's any other tricky words in here. If you find any words like Lark or Grimblerod or uh, Grimoire or Lachlan, Ariana or Ariana, however you would like to, spell, to, to pronounce that. Um, otherwise, I think that this one's pretty good. I'm going to do another video for Into Carrera, which is the next book, which I hear Carrera um, is also perhaps not an easy word to pronounce. Um, so, and that always frustrated me when I was a kid, when I was reading a book and it was a name that I couldn't, pr I didn't know if I was pronouncing it right. Um, then it would, it would really bother me. Even, um, Hermione in, uh, the Harry Potter books, I always would get like before that was actually a movie and you were just going on what you actually read in the book that used to bug me because I didn't know if I was pronouncing it right. I probably didn't pronounce it Hermione. I probably pronounced it Hermione or something. Anyway, so that's it. Um, and in case you're curious, Into Carrera will be published in May, early May. We're working on some sort of a early launch event. So I'll keep you posted here on the website. And 
that's it for now. Thanks. Happy pronunciation. Give me a comment if there's another word that you encountered that you aren't sure how I intended it to be pronounced, and I will happily help.